Shoutcast. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another COD4 Shoutcast here at Mindfree TV. Tonight, we have the teams from Thermodynamic and Savio, otherwise known as Featured, I assume Featured, going up against one another here. I'm loving my lag up right now. But um, yes, we are chilling here in the server. It is the Thermal Take Charity Cup, round one if I'm not mistaken, and it's going to be an absolute hoot tonight. I think it might be round two. So it should be an absolute hoot. Um, both teams rather evenly matched, I'd say. Um, and of course, we're on, we're on Crash now, dude. The map for Crash, it is. Um, it'll be very interesting to see where this, uh, which direction this game goes in. Uh, Savio, favourites by a long mile, but a lot of players are underestimating the abilities of the Thermodynamic crew. They've had some good results in the past, expecting a strong showing in CGO this season in the finals. And tonight they've got Dublin Stabby, Perps, Hyper, and Attack Kid repping the boys. Going to be a solid lineup for them tonight. Not rolling with their normal sub vibes, um, but I'm sure they'll, uh, they'll go pretty hard tonight. Now, John, mate, I'm just going to go tell my brother to stop downloading, run us through the Savio team, and give us a bit of a rundown on the map of Crash. Yep, uh, Savio, um, or other known as, uh, I think it's Featured, or Lifters, as they've been playing in CGA finals, etc. Uh, we've got Jake. Fire Strike, Lay it, and Hydra. The fifth is unknown at the moment, but um, from what I know, they're pretty aggressive and they like to take sites all in one big storm. Not sure if they have too many splitting strategies where they sort of roam around and get the picks and what. But um, as far as I can tell, uh, they've got a lot of rushes. The fifth has joined us, and his name's Lift, uh, Deadlift 400. So I don't know his actual alias. Um, for the thermodynamic uh, crew, we also have. Uh, attack Kid, I'm not, I'm not really familiar with all these uh, names, but Attack Kid, Dublin, Stabby, Hyper, and Perps. I um, have seen them a couple of times, they're not too bad. Um, they've been around for a while, they don't take the game all that too serious, but they've signed up for this competition, so they should be alright. Um, yeah, so obviously we're playing in the TT Esports Charity Cup map of uh, Crush. It's either round one or round two, I'm not too sure. But, and not too fast either, so um, the winner of this will be pushed into the next round and the loser will be pushed into the uh, loser's bracket to face off against um, one of the other losers um, from previous games that have been played. Uh, are you back over? I am back, yes. Nice work there with the old Spiel of Rooney. Just a bit of uh, downloading Battlefield 3, just saying. So got a few patches there, I just cancelled that. But uh -huh. in uh, presiding, we do have two referees tonight expecting uh, plenty of coverage uh, in regards to watching those more sus players there, I'm not sure who that would be tonight, but uh, Flay, an eye on him, deadlifter number two. He warps like a mofo, so keep an eye out for him. He's, he's warping tonight, actually, so yeah. that'll be interesting. I don't know what the ruling will be on that one. Flay. I think that's Flay. I think that's Flay, because he was lagging before, and honestly, it's going to be very hard to hit. Um, got someone else joining, so they might be replacing him, not too sure. But, yeah. Oh, no, they don't know who he is after, so don't Yeah, I'm not sure who that dissolved guy is. And a bit of shout-out to Rotok or Kotor, the legendary Brata from Perps. And, uh, ooh, look at this deadlifter. Dissolve has joined the, uh, Savio team, so hopefully... No, no, he's, uh, he's been kicked, so righto. Hopefully we can get a rup sooner or later. Preferably sooner. I might just turn my mic down as well. I think I'm just going up a bit too loud. I think that's a bit better. Yeah, there we go. All right, uh, uh, talk again. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very nice. Yes. So, um, Savio. I don't know why they're not taped up as featured. Maybe because they entered as Savio, or perhaps they've done away with their organisation. Plenty of lifted comments out tonight. It's got to be Virtue. It is Virtue. The names Virtue. are up. Shout out to Vibes from Hyper. Be uh, watching from the sidelines tonight, cheering his team on. We have a rup. Denied, mate. Be my guest and take the first round out. I'll get rid of my lagger meter and stuff. Yep. Sure. Alrighty, I'm gonna might follow someone from Savior. Let's go for Jake. Jake's gonna throw a smoky out to the middle, uh, middle of the uh, map, covering the uh, SMGs, pushing into either lights or down the alley um, to gay corner. Looks as if like they're just doing a bit of a B push through mid as well. They've got two, two AKs, I think. Oh, one AK or an SMG pushing down the alley. Might switch over to him right now. No, it doesn't look like it can. Oh, there we go. It's Virtue. Virtue's going to push down the BL. He's, um, he's covered by smoke. There's no one in the BL. He's going to go into bottom line. He gets tagged up from uh, Pillars. The back of Pillars there, the green car. He's pushing the bottom light. He, ca he has heard a lot of people. There's one top glitch and there's one uh, just outside light, if I'm not mistaken. There might be two top glitch. Not too sure. Might actually fly over the top and have a look. Yes, uh, there's one top glitch. One in the uh, top light of Virtue. Take 
Picks down uh, Dublin and also Hyper at the same time. So there we go, Lights is secured. As a 2v5 situation, Tiger gets tagged up a couple of times by Deagle. Uh, inside AS Play takes oh down that dear. packet. And Stabby with the Deagle and the SMG combo. So uh, two kills to Flay, two kills to Virtue, and uh, SMG is looking pretty clean this, uh, this game so far. Yeah, indeed. I think some of Thermo guys thought it was a knife round, but you can uh, you can see the movements of Flay there are very, very difficult to follow on the stream. He is jittering a lot. Nonetheless, now we watch Hydra looking down Bialy with a scope. He's got the scope in hand today. A bit of an interesting turn of events. Usually an AK. -er. Let's see what he can produce for us now, though, as he's going straight down the bottom of the blue building. Hyper, we have a steady scope for the Thermo crew now watching bottom blue from Sam Basin. A lot of sound as Dublin picks up Hydra and Fire Strike on the Stabby as well there. Perps working around Wooden. It is a 4v4 situation. Fire Strike goes down there. Perps are heavily deagling. Oh, Perps deagling it up from Wooden there. Oh. Virtue and Fire Strike hit the deck while Flay will pick up Perps. In response, it is a 3v2 situation. Bit of a, There are issues with Flay at the moment. I don't think there's much we can do about it, really. There we go, though. Up the stairs, it does it. Jake and go. Plenty of sound there. Delvin goes down to Jake. I'm not sure what happened there, but Jake will now get the plant down on the A side. Flay bottom A warping as he goes. It is Hyper the last. Uh, no, so it's Hyper and Attack it. Up against Flay now. As Hyper's got a great shot onto Jake on mid A. And the Hyper now approaching back A. Attack hit bottom A as well, trying to work with Flay. Flay sitting in mid A. He's uh, jumping around, jittering as he does now. Pushing bottom A. Couple of random tags. He's picked up attack here, but Hyper will deal with him now and get the defuse for the Thermo crew there. So an interesting start there with uh, Savio getting the first round on attack. Thermo get the, uh, get the second round there on defense like expected and denied. Not happy with the lagging, I see, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm not happy with the, with the Flay business. Like, I know this is for charity and all, but... That should honestly not be allowed. I'd be frustrated as hell if I was playing against him. He's just walking everywhere. He won't be able to hit him. Like He's skipping about five meters. Anyway, back to the game. Hydra takes down Hyper with scope on scope action as far as I'm um, Takes him down the M40. And uh, Dublin takes down Hydra. Ta and Virtue um, replies onto attack. So, uh, oh, Virtue picking up another frag onto Dublin. That's his fourth of the game so far in two rounds. As Flay gets smashed by Stabby at the top of the steps on um, the mid A action there. And uh, now it's a 2v3 situation. So you have the numbers of Virtue, Jake, and also Fire Strike uh, left up for the side. Um, all of them have actually pulled on the board so far. There's only one person on the other team who hasn't pulled yet, and that's attacked. So I shouted that. There we go. Oh, oh, the deagle. Oh, perfect, lovely deagle. I caught that one. And uh, this is very sharp from the man. Stabby and him are both sitting in the A site. They're going to get done. Oh, perfect. He's actually dominating with the deagle. That's uh, his fourth deagle kill for the, the entire game so far. Um, no, it might be, no, yeah, it is his fourth deal kill. He's had nothing but deal frag, and uh, he's an SMG. His Virtue takes down Stabby. 1v1 situation. Now, was a 1v2. What can Virtue do? He's pushing back a... Uh, sta is that Purpose? Yes, Purpose is uh, mid-A at the moment. He's uh, got an AK. He hasn't got his de trustworthy deagle at the moment, and uh, Virtue is going to push into bottom A. It looks like and try and retrieve the bomber and either go B or continue to push. He makes a little bit of sound there, and Perps hears that. He's waiting for, the, uh, for him to push up the step. Oh, he's got a couple of tags, and he's shooting the floor. Doesn't get the frag, and uh, Virtue's going to come up and frag oh, him. No. Oh no! No, misses an unfortunate timing. Oh, there we go. Virtue picks up. So. Uh, Looks as if, oh, Flay has actually dropped out. Oh no, he's back in. And there we go. Um, so it's uh, 2 to 1 in favour of uh, Savio Uber. And looking quite uh, evenly matched. Uh. Yes, indeed. Savio was some great attack. In fact, I think they're just a bit ahead in this stakes here. Flay picked up a plus 10 nade. Stabby and Perps. Back A goes down. We have a quick rotating attack here, though, with the SMG. He's now picked up Virtue, and he is the stalwart defense at A. The last man standing, so to speak. Now, we do have a rotate as well. Hyper coming back A. But Flay's in, ladies and gentlemen. He's in his mid A. He's seen some feet there on the... Uh on the wooden stairs, he's picked up attack. He's going to jump back, A eh? With some pretty handy hip fire and a little bit of lag to help him out. Takes down Hyper. Jake to clean up Dublin as well. And that is the round. 3-1 in favor of Savio. They are absolutely ripping up here on attack. Seem to have no issues there with uh, with being on the more difficult side tonight. Yeah, um... Smash day with a double nade, uh, a double nade kill. I think it was from Flay. The lag in the game. Oh, um, dear. Anyway, back to this now, but um, the A rush was absolutely massive last round, and uh, Hyper does get the nade onto Hydra this round, so the account's already been opened from the third my dynamic, make that two, added uh, another extra one added to the count by Dublin, taking down Virtue with the trustworthy AK, Hyper pick him, another frag on a flay there with the Deagle, and it's uh, now a 2v4, make that a, uh, sorry, 2v5, make that a 2v4 as Fire Strike picks down Dublin with his uh, AK, or oh, Hyper misses an unfortunate uh, timing shot there, 
on to Fire Strike and Fire Strike picks him up with the SMG and it's now a 2v3, was a 2v5 and now it's just and it's two picks um, still out of their reach at the moment, they're down by the numbers but they can still easily bring this back Stack pushing across as Jake picks up Perth uh, now it's a uh, oh, well played. Close, oh, individual play going on here and one of them has uh, been dropped that was Fire Strike going for the, the kill on Attack Kids and uh, Attack Kids opens up the account that's his second frag for the game. Stabby was tagged up slightly from, uh, I think it's Jake. And Jake is sitting in BL. He's pushed up to the broken wall now. And uh, he's seen him. No, oh, he's going to go for the frag. He does. He picks up Stabby. It's a 1v1 situation now. And uh, Jake has the bomb. Looks at the cat attack. He's looking the right way. Oh, gets a couple of tags on him. Can he finish him off? No, won't be able to do so as Jake has gone up for the plant. He's going to plant for blue as well. Sneaky little plant too. Um, he's going to push over to blue. No, he's not doing the right... I don't know what I expected him to do, but he's going to watch back A nonetheless. And uh, Attack Kid's going to push through uh, Pillars with the SMG very silently. He's also got an AK, so he's got two primary weapons um, available to himself. And he can actually make some damage here. And uh, we've got Jake sitting on the steps back A. He sees him go up, gets a couple of tags on Attack Kid. Attack Kid could double back, doesn't doesn't choose to. He's going to go for the frag, he's ditched. Can he actually poke him? He'll be able to get the frag, but he doesn't know where he is. Oh, there we go. Attack Kid picks up the frag. And, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, he almost missed the, uh, the bomb there. So, uh, sneaky little 2v1, was it? No, 1v1. My bad. So, yeah, picked up, uh, the, the last few frags of that round and, uh, secured the round quite nicely. And, uh, 3-2 now, Uber Hunt's getting closer and closer, but that's expected as, uh, Savio are on the attacking side. Yeah, no, they're playing some good cards, Savio. There's no doubt about that. Keeping within, uh, so, I mean, in the win on attack, you know, you can't be complaining that they are in the lead. It is 3-2 now. Perth pushing BL. He takes down Flay, but Virtue now deals with him. So that has been neutralized. This fire strike ties to get some shots now into the mid of A. Someone on the bomb or some such. Jay copying some heavy tags from top lights now. It's Hydra with the scope looking mid A. Shots coming out from... Oh, Hydra can't quite seal the deal there. We'll flick to Stabby, who's the one mid A. He's got a deagle out. He's really trying to take it to the bloke sitting at the, uh... At the corner there on the top slope, but I think he's pushing his luck a little bit. He probably should really just stay and defend, eh? They really are. They're dealing heavily to Thermo Crute. I really would recommend just sitting tight and defending here. I'm not losing their lives, um, you know, too early on the round. He doubled on top of light. See that? No, he bounced past him. He's managed to avoid it. But uh, that may be signaling a bit of a push now from the uh, Savio crew. Their Hydra goes down. Oh. Dublin too sharp. Their top lights. Dublin now flinging that AK-47 around like it's Willow Smith's hair, ladies and gentlemen. And he is trying to get on the B alley now as Fire Strike goes down to Hyper. Good shot there from the man. It is a 4v2 situation now. Dublin top of lights. Attack it back A. Watching it closely. Virtue stuck in spawn with NSMG. Let's hope you can lift your teammate. Plenty of talk about uh, non-lifters and lifters in the serve of the night. Virtue, mate, can you lift for your team? He's seen Dublin top lights. He's opting not to take the shot there. Couple shots coming out behind him. Dublin cops some tagging up by Jake. Now Jake heading straight across now on the on the heli. In top lights, you're not seeing a lot of action now. Virtue oh, pushing back. Hyper push picks him up. Very nice work. Jake now looking gay corner. Trying to pick up that little frag there. Dublin is the man giving it back to him for the boys. There we go. Dublin great poking. Great round as well. Two for him. Two for Hyper. One for Perps. Thermo make it three apiece on the Ray Zone scoreboard tonight. Yes, um, so you go. They need to be more aggressive. It seems that Thermo cr uh, really crumble under pressure and they're really not putting enough pressure on certain uh, spots of the map. They need to put a couple of nades back A, deep back A. And as I'm talking, Hyper gets a lovely... Uh, oh no! He got tagged up as he got the frag and jumped off the lights and killed himself and he uh, spammed his keyboard. So unfortunate to that end. Shout out to that death as Jake is a lovely top mm, top light nade. Kill onto Dublin. So uh, Dublin's out of the game for this round. And uh, it's a 3v4 situation. So you have the numbers, and, and it looks as like if they're going to go for a B push here. Who is sitting on the B bomb? It's Virtue gets a lovely plus 10 with an aid and an AK there. Taking down perps and attack kid. And the, uh, it's all left up to Stabby. Follow Stabby right here. He's got the SMG. He pushes out of back A, and Virtue gets another frag. So uh, Virtue coming up massive in that round. And uh, he takes down three. But like I said, Savio, once they start putting a lot of pressure onto uh, Thermo, they, they crumble at the hands. Like, they really don't know how to deal with the pressure that they're dealing and, like, when, when they, especially when they go BL, there's, a, there's enough covering from uh, Savio to push down pretty convincingly. Yes, indeed. Our Virtue's having a huge game so far. 10 and 4, doing very nicely. Hyper doing his work there for Thermo, but will it be enough? That's the question now. Perbs with some deagle action. He really prefers to use the pistol instead of his SMG there. He's tagged one going green car. Stabby onto the scope there. He's actually poked the opposition scope with a deagle from mid-A. 
cheeky bastard there. He goes down to Virtue with an SMG. I think he's sitting front A. Attack kid watching the push across from bottom blue. Virtue sitting in a little alcove there. Watching the helicopter and just waiting to see if someone will push him. Plenty of smoke there. Obscuring the bin there is Dublin. Now pushing gate corner gets picked up by Virtue again. But he does take Jake for his trouble to 3v3. Attack kid and perps. Add to the account there. Flay and fire strike hit the deck and it is Virtue. The lifter. Last man standing. He's picked up attack kid now. But perps with the deagle again. That's another one. He's... I don't know, far out. He's really racking the deagle. I think he's only got one frag with his... Uh, I'm fairly sure he's only got one frag with the, um, the SMG. Yep, that was that round too. So. Anyway, uh, I'm going to follow some uh, thermodynamic scoping action. So we've got Hyper on the board here. It's Flag, it's a lovely frag with the SMG rushing. Opens the account onto Perps. And Hydra also picks up Stabby with his, uh, his scope there. As uh, Hyper sees on bottom A, doesn't get the frag though. I think he went up um, without being noticed. And uh, Dublin gets a couple of tags on the Jake there, crossing from uh, blue. So go back to, to Hyper, looks as if he's going to push the back A as Flay takes down the attack kid. And Hyper gets a couple of the revenge tags on it. Doesn't get the frag though, unfortunately. So it's a 5v2 situation. He's Hyper and Dublin stranded. having a, a massive job against the Savio crew. Dublin is it? Uh, he's been smashed at gay corner by Firestrike by the AK. And uh, the last one left is Hyper. He's got a deagle, he's bottom sandbag. Can't do much and he's going to get smashed. He's been tagged up quite heavily from, uh, I think it's Flay. Stabby's left the game. I'm not sure what that's all about. Hopefully they call a timeout to secure the... Oh, he's coming back in. But there we go. Virtue has smashed Hyper. And that's the round. So it's 5-4 to four at the moment. And uh, Savio looking quite strong in the last couple of rounds. Um, ooh, looks as if they're only playing with four this round. Uh, Uber Thermodynamic uh, had a bit of a timeout, mate. Yeah, Stabby with his signature lag and timeout there. But Dublin has even the stakes there. Picking up Virtue. We do see Flay approaching that bin front of A now, Jake, with some uh, little tip-taps coming out from the broken wall. Flay pushing bottom A now. Skipping on through there. Lag, 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 lag. He is now. Going to head to the stairs. He's managed to dodge back A, but not perps. Waiting for him now. Mid-A stairs. We will see Hyper now. Top of uh, Sandbags. Here's a bit of action at B, and have a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We have three on the B alley. The Savio crew pushing very, very hard now. Stabby with another timeout. Jake watching Hydra going to the top of the lights, and I think the cat's out of the bag now as Jake's picked one up. Fire strike trying to push onto the bomb there, but look at this. Thermo uh, rotating from A, but they're just far too slow now. But Hyper, nice work there onto Hydra. He's got two to deal with now. Fire strike and Jake, they're going to rotate back to A. They've taken the long route here to avoid getting picked from Sandbags now. Will Hyper be watching A? He will be, but I think he'll flick away by the time these boys get there. He's got no way of really knowing what's yeah. going on at the moment. He's watching that front A. We've got two front A now, and here's the push. Let's have a look. Hyper, can he make the frag? He's seen one across. Goes to frag him, and the rest is... I guess right in front of you now, now as Jake oh. is trying to push A. Fire Strike oh, heavily tagged on the bomb. Fire Strike trying to get that plant down. Oh, I don't think Hyper's going to take him this time, ladies and gentlemen. No. And he's going to be up against now. Jake is sitting tight in bottom A. He's going to wait to ambush Hyper the moment that he steps foot in backyard. And Fire Strike proning his way along mid A. Taking his time as the bomb does tick down. 30 seconds on the clock now. And Hyper now is a <laughs> he is approaching back A. Uh, AK-47 out in front now. He's going to see Jake in bottom A in just a moment. No, he's moved. He's in pantry. Some, uh, some talk specialties here from the Fire Strike man. And he's picked up Hyper coming up the wooden stairs. 6-4 it is on the Razor Zone scoreboard. Savio out quite a long way in front. Looking like they're going to be sharp this game. We're going to have a timeout. And uh, that'll be because we're waiting on a fourth. So A fifth, sorry, for Thermodynamic. Yes. Analyzing that uh, last round, Uber, Thermo, with the four, they actually picked up a quite a bit, but um, as they were rotating, they got picked. Uh, they need to call their rotations a lot earlier, so they know where they can actually push from and push. Uh, push. Uh, Jake just hit two people on the cross, as far as I could see, and uh, I think one came from Pillars, one came from um, Back A, and just smashed them quite easily. It looks as if Hyper's left the server this time, might be restarting his COD or something. Uh, might might be getting a start. Yeah, um, and also from Hyper when he's on the sandbag, what he should have done is he uh, should have pushed into back A. He knew that they were going to go in, uh, that they were going to go there. Whether or not he had the time to get there was um, something he didn't know, which is what was used against him. As they went in, got the plant down, and they were, he was forced to go to them late, and they were already in position. If he had gone into back A a lot earlier, he would have been able to solidify a position to actually take them out and have a better chance of picking them out um, when they went into A. Because, as you saw, both of them were proning in bottom, you know, one was proning bottom A, one was um, in mid A, and the guy that went in mid A, you could have easily uh, taken him out and then secured the last guy. But, um, regardless, it's quite even, Steven, 6-4, to four. Savio has got um, the disadvantage side being on the pack, and it's a lot harder to, to break the A defense hole. 
but um, they're doing quite well going B and through mid as well. Yes, indeed. Still discussing some of the issues with uh, with the lag and stuff. There's no real problems, I think, with um, yeah, with Flay's lagging fr uh, from from the uh, from the referee's point of view. There, I don't really know personally. If I was playing, it might be uh, quite frustrating. Um, just Virtue would like to let everyone know that he actually doesn't lift, and everything that he said about lifting has been a lie. He's actually compensating for the fact that he couldn't lift the straw out of his glass of uh, I don't know what's a girly drink. Yeah, he's a white blood boy, orange bro. soda. There you go. Couldn't lift the straw out of his blood, orange soda. That's right, the man at Virtue. But he is topping the scoreboard very now, and his shoulders must be getting a little bit sore. 14 for 6 is a respectable score, especially in this situation. On the attack as well, his SMG skills are proving vital for the Savio crew to make those entry frags into A. To get the bomb down and win the round, we are still waiting for young, uh, young Hyper to join us here. Not sure what's going on. Yeah, some, uh, some chats, etc. going on. I'm not so sure. But, uh, yeah, it's usually uh, Stabby with the problem. He, he times out reasonably often at, at regular intervals, so I don't really know why they're playing him. They probably should be playing Vibes in this match just because he's got a more reliable connection, but uh, that's just me. Talking this Vibes guy up a lot, of, uh, must be good. No, no, he's just this up. He's just got a, he's got a more reliable connection, I think. <laughs> vibes uh, good boy. Anyway, Savio, well, we might run through the scores, um, kill a bit of time, so I'll go through the Savio's. We've got 14, uh, 14 kills, 1 assist, uh, yeah, one assist, 6 deaths from Virtue. There. Now, the Flay issue where he's lagging quite a lot, he's, he's um, warping a lot, and he's getting quite a number of frags from it. Uh, 10 kills, 2 assists, 7 deaths. We've got Jake on 8 for 2 um, assists, and also 5 deaths, and Fire Strike 5 for 5 with 3 assists, and Hydra bottoming with the scope, um, 3 for 6. He's really not doing much. Um, he really needs to lift his game. And uh, what about the thermodynamic scores that you can see with uh, the four? I'm not sure how much Stabby had Uber, but I'm trying to do your best. Yeah, no, he was uh, he was struggling a little bit there. He was one one five, I think, for a while. But uh, mm. yeah, I guess you know it's quite an even effort between the thermo crew. Their perps only getting a few frags, but holding a nicely. Attack it also the secondary push into a. Dublin watching top lights. I think, you know, a couple of frags here and there onto the mid. But uh, I think really it's all been uh, Savio so far. Their ability to push in a has been uh, very, very difficult for Thermodynamic to deal with. And also, when they push B, they caught them on the rotate with their pants down. So, I think, uh, you know, Thermo need to be perhaps playing a bit more proactive here. They need to be expecting the unexpected, because Savio are going to try every trick in the book to be up uh, by halftime. Look, uh, what we'll do, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go to, a quick, go to a quick break, and we will be back in just a moment. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Timeout time is uh, is over, and uh, poor Hyper will actually have to play. Oh, no, we got a timeout from the Thermo crew. That's good. So, yeah, Hyper basically is timed out, and his router has stored his CD key, or something's happened, and basically it's saying he's got CD key in use errors when he's trying to connect. So he'll actually have to uh, to restart his computer, I think, at this rate. A bit of a pain in the bum. But hopefully he'll be back with us in a moment. Actually, I have this. I have this um, fair bit. McLovin on the dick so hard. He's joining us here um, in the ref spot. He's actually a member of Featured or Savio. And he's riding it like Donkey Kong. Whatever Donkey Kong rides. I don't know. A barrel, maybe. But um, <laughs> besides that, still waiting. A big shout out to Thermal Take and Skanks and Mayo from the Thermal Take crew for putting this thing together. It's great to have a bit of a uh, charity competition as well. We're not all playing for Sheep Stations here on Cyber Gamer. And it's good to see so many teams get involved as well. So we will have a maximum of uh, 4 minutes, 5 seconds remaining to see this game continue. We'll be getting back to it. And I'd love to, I'd love for that to be as soon as possible because Thermo have got a bit of work to do. Uh, the writing's on the wall really for them. They, uh, they need to lift it and they really need to produce some fragging in this first half if they're going to have any sort of luck in the next half tonight. What do you think? Yeah, they really need 
uh, start holding in positions and start communicating as a team when they when they rotate. It's not not fast enough, or it's not cold enough. If they can work on that, they should actually have a, a decent chance on coming back. I mean, they're only two rounds down, uh, but they're on the easier side, so they really need to get the remainder of these five rounds. So that's my analysis on it. Yeah, it's it's not a good position to be in, really. Like, you know, the ideal game... Actually, we'll just go to Flay here. You guys can get a bit of an idea of, of from his point of view, what the lag's like. It's actually not too bad. But yeah, while I'm at it, I guess from this point of view, you don't really want to be down on defense ever. And, that, and that's sort of a warning sign for any team on this map. Yes, yeah, so, like I've seen games, I have seen games where it's been nine, one team's gone nine and three on attack, and then they've just choked defense, you know. So I've seen some very interesting games like that. Even at the MF land, I think um, Snapback versus the Rift guys, whoever they call Fatality 7, yeah. It was the same kind of thing. Neither team really had a solid defense, but it had a good attack. And, you know, they managed to they managed to take the game out um, through just winning the attack side. So it really does depend. It's all about how solid it is. We are joined in the server by Hyper. Thank the Lord. Even if you're not religious, you'd be agreeing with me now. It's going to be good to get the shoutcast on the way. Get rid of that lag from PB. And yes, we are going to be underway here in the MF TV studio. Savio going up against Thermo now. 11th round. We'll be ripping it up. And uh, I expect Thermo now. We'll need to full a few more rounds back. Let's get the raps going out. Oh, Stabby, my girlfriend is... Oh, okay, she is hot. Yes, I'm not going to deny that, but... The world does not need to know, my friend. Let's get some rap action. Jake and Hyper yet to join us here in uh, the land of the people who want to play the game. Got to hit the F key. F. F, 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 F. Oh, Hyper's got a bit of lag. This ain't good for the family crew. So, well, same with Perps, actually. Oh, no, Perps has gone back to normal. A bit of a spike. Uh, but hopefully Jake can press the F key. Same with Hyper. Um... Yeah, a bit of dilemmas in this game. Yeah, just waiting for. Whoa, that base from downstairs is uh, actually crazy. Anyway, I'll take this round, of, uh, this round away, and uh, the room's just gone live, so there we go. And uh, whoa, that base can hear from downstairs. I'm not sure if it's too bad, is it? Dude? No, it's not too bad, mate. Uh, cool. uh, uh, I'll go with Jake now. Um, he's he's playing all right. He's uh, eight for five at the moment. He's pretty much the team assault. Uh, and Throwing an aid out towards lights, he's also throwing a smoke in towards yeah. pillars. So he's going to push towards uh, bottom blue into A. Uh, no, yes, he's just going to sit bottom blue as Virtue takes down Perps and Stabby also takes down Hydra. Dublin also picking up another frag on the play there. And uh, it's all happening here on the map of Crash and Hyper just hitting top glitch. He's looking for a pick, he's with the scope. Can't see anyone. Stabby, another Deagle kill. Absolutely beautiful from, from him onto Fire Strike. And uh, Fire Strike goes down like a sack of potatoes. And uh, he's. One is spotted in bottom blue, and that is Jake. He's tagged up very, very, very slightly, and uh, the bulls are being shot his way quite consistently right now from Dublin top right. And uh, Jake's going to poke him, get a, a couple of shots towards him as Dublin falls down from lights. Uh, he takes a bit of fall damage, and uh, Dublin takes down Virtue, pushing him. Jake replies, taking down Dublin. It's a bit of revenge frag there. Oh, 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 lovely shot from Hyper to the bottom blue door there. And uh, that was actually, that, that round was all happening, Uber. There was uh, no dead air on that on that round. There was nothing we had to fill in there. So that round was uh, absolutely quite massive. Yes, indeed. I'm just, sorry, I've been checking my scoreboard every now and then because I've got a bit of lag. So please uh, do forgive me for that. I guess yeah, it's only Ventrilo that's going to be lagging, so it should be okay. This is a VOD, so what we do now, Jake? Pushing straight down BA <laughs> like a fearless bastard, but Dublin's just going to scoop him up there from top lights now. And we're going to see Flay have a crack at top lights. He's got the scope in his hand with the lag, with all the rego problems that come with it. But there you go, Virtue has clearly cleared it up. It is a 3v3 situation. My scoreboard says three virtues. That can't be right, but it is virtue, the real virtue top of lights now. Attack, you're going to rotate back. Stabby <laughs> needs to chill around A because the pusher, you know, Savio have proven their ability to rotate rather quickly now. We'll see attack. You can see back of red card. Trying to see anyone pushing across mid. Virtue is trying to get into a good spot to pick off the guy top glitch. He knows hype is there. It's pretty obvious. He's been there the whole rest of the game. And a lag, lag, lag. It is Flay coming down. Bialy, fire strike on a Stabby now. The A is open. And a Flay. Is now going to make the rotation back to get on in there. Hyper coming some tagging from Virtue. Very, very, very nearly killed. Attack hit. Really the only player who can do anything useful at the moment. And he's going to try and help his buddy out. But in the meantime, is it A or B? Fire Strike. You tell me that we have it. It's very interesting. Fire Strike and Flay have swapped spots now. Flay is in bottom blue. Attack hit on a Fire Strike. This could go all wrong for Savio now. I don't really know if they know where they're going. Attack hit. 
Giving uh giving his mate Hyper a bit of space now as Virtue sitting bottom right. Waiting for Attacker to push around, but we do hear the plan over at A. Hyper straight to the sandbags. Gonna get a shot. Ah, oh, see you later, mate! Takes him out through the wood. And Virtue now in deep shit, if I may say so. <laughs> He's uh gonna push a front red car, try and take down Attacker. He's got him, but there's just oh, not enough time in the round. Hyper won't play. There's no way. He's gonna sit tight top. Oh, sandbags and bring out the round. It is six all. Very clever play there, and a nice shot through the uh, the wooden area from Hyper. Denied. <laughs> uh, Stabby shout out to his own teammate Hyper. Uh, he loves the reconnect skill. He also do himself as well. He reconnects. Mm. So Hyper, he's opened up the round quite nicely on the Jake with a wall bang, um, and he's taking him down quite nicely with that scope. Virtue takes down attack. Kid Hyper takes down Stabby, and Virtue puts up another frag on the Dustin. All happening in this round. Hyper is also tagged up on top of sandbags or top glitch. Is it? Um, uh, yeah, it's top glitch. He's got one top lights. Perps takes down Hyper. He's holding the A site by himself. And it's a 2v3 situation now, three virtues it says, but it's not. It's actually Virtue, Fire Strike, and Flay up against uh, Hyper and Perps. Hyper being the scope for the team. And uh, Perps just a couple of tags on the Flay there at the top of the alley. And uh, there are a couple of them at the top of the alley. Oh, a couple of tags on the Fire Strike there. What do they have to do to secure this round, um, Thermo? Like, uh, they're just stuck in pretty ordinary positions, but they've both got um, both the sites locked. Um, what can you suggest? Like sort of snow. Yeah, well, I mean, Savio are spreading themselves quite a bit, and more of a B alias, uh, sorry, B bias to push here now. As we see, Perps just sitting in the top eight trying to dig. He's, you know, Flay's just going to sit there and harass him. And it's going to be a two v one on a hyper here. So really, hyper needs to get the pick on the bomb first of all. Whether it's reconnect skill. Oh, uh, wow! Straight through smoke there. See you later, fire strike. And he's also picked up virtue. I'm thinking hyper. That's some a very sharp play there. And the referees will be watching very intently. Defuse effort coming out from Hyper now. We're going to have some pushing down. Bialy Perps out to come right out behind him. Flay is going to get there first, though, and he's going to shoot oh, through smoke. Oh, he's got the defuse! That is what the lagging is, uh, is doing to him. I guess he couldn't get the shot onto him before he uh, before the defuse went down there. So very, very nice work there from Thermo. And uh, Hyper, you could well say with some movie footage that, uh, that round there. <laughs> yeah, you got a lovely flick kill onto top light there. And also, uh, oh, there we go, plus 10, Nate and a, and a scope kill onto Flystrike, and also uh, Virtue is Perps, his teammate takes down Hydra, pushing into bottom A, and it's, all, it's already happened this round, Stabby rushing through uh, Archers, or top of the alley, takes down Flay the scope, and it's a 5v1 situation, Jake has got nothing he can do, he's got an AK, he's bottom blue, the scope, uh, sorry, the, the scope is watching it, oh, he's tagging him up quite a lot, he's uh, back blue now, the, the bomb is out of his reach, the bomb is uh, at uh, aircon, basically, and, oh, there we go. Stabby picks up the last kill, and there we go. Jake goes down like a sack of potatoes. And last round, take it away, Uber. Six to eight. No. Yes, indeed. If Flay requesting that Perps increase his max packets. Uh, perhaps some concern about the packet toggling he may be utilizing there. I'm not quite sure. Nonetheless, eight to six it is in uh, Thermo pulling some much needed rounds before the half comes up. Hydra trying to get some shots now onto the bin. Bit of a vert nade action. I think either way, Savio will be happy with this half at some crucial rounds they brought up now. Perps. He's ripping it up on the B side there. He's got two. He's, uh, you know, oh, I thought he had another one there, but the bomb is down in Blue Alley. Perps, this great push there has derailed the attack of the, of the Savio crew. I guess now they're just trying to get themselves into A. Uh, and I don't know what is the next part because the bomb is dropped in Blue Alley. So Hydra's picked one up, bottom A attack. It hits the deck. It is a 2v2 situation. Hyper and Perps up against Hydra and Virtue now. So Perps sitting bottom A, trying to watch Hyper. He's going to... Hydra's trying to watch Hydra. He's going to push back A, I think, the man. He's trying to get on that dumpster. And there we go. See an attack. Oh, Perps very sharp there. Was that Deagle or not? No, he's got an AK-47 now. And we do see the lifter. Or the non-lifter, should I say. Virtue sitting top lights. He's tried to pick up attack here now. He's going to push Hyper. He doesn't know where to go. He's getting tagged very, very, very heavy now. Perps for the TD, ladies and gentlemen. Can he pull it? He's got the gold AK-47 for luck. The bling bling shining in the sun. And uh, no shots yet has been able to take down Virtue. He's, oh, look at that. Smart positioning and hello. Team down for Perps. Great play. His score, 15 for 11, and some sharp work from him indeed. Halftime comes up. 6 for 9. It is on the Razor Zone scoreboard. So we'll go through Savio here. Virtue, 19 for 10. Flay is 10 for 11. Jake, 9 for 10. Fire Strike, 7 for 10. And Hydra is 6 for 11. Deny what's going on in the Thermo camp. Ah, Thermo Camp, they brought it back quite nicely. They were down by two rounds, as far as I know, and now up 9-6. to six. And uh, Perps have got 15 for 11, Dublin 10 for 13, but 
four assists in a teamwork job. Hyper comes back, 7 for 0, absolutely dominating. Attack Kid, 5 for 11, Stabby 5 for 3, and I'll take this round away. It is the second half now, and even switch side onto the defensive half, uh, the defensive half of the map, and uh, see what they can do. Jake throws out some smokes and nades towards the mid. Hyper, uh, Hyper gets uh, a couple of tags, I think, through mid, I'm not sure, but Perps also got, uh, receiving a couple of fire from, uh, I think it was Jake. And uh, there we go, Stabby's tagged up, Perps is tagged. Out. Not much happening in this round. There we go. Virtue try uh, finally see account opened. Uh, take all taking down two uh, perps and stabby there. Both the SMGs from Thermodynamic. So Elizabeth Saber is uh, going through this with quite a breeze. It's uh, uh, Thermo, a very slow paced team. It seems uh, the pretty much top Bialy at the moment. Uh, trying to get picks down Bialy. There's no one down Bialy though. As uh, Virtue picks up another frag onto attack. Get it. Fire strike takes down Dublin. One v. Four, no, one v five situation now. Thir oh, hyper lovely shot on the fire strike top light. Flay sees him in bottom light, uh, bottom blue. Doesn't get the frag at all, and uh, not even a tag. So hyper is sitting top sandbag, waiting for someone to. Uh, sorry, top blue, watching the top sandbag, waiting for someone to poke. There's no one up there, so he's uh, looking into mid A. Doesn't see any, anyone there, either. and uh, he's just got to. He has to take his time, I guess, and take uh, get get a couple of picks and push into a position. To retrieve the bomb, it doesn't look like he's uh, going to be able to. Um, it's in mid A, and I've got it on lockdown. Virtue's back A, Jake is uh, also back A, and who else is there? Hydra on the bottom. <laughs> of the so oh, hyper! Lovely shot under Flay with the R700. Uh, oh, oh, unfortunate Hydra smashing. Uh, who was that? Smashing hyper. There you go. So it's uh, nine to seven now. Uber and uh, looks like say we have a pretty decent. Uh, and solid for defensive shock. Yeah, no, they've done pretty well there. Savio with a quick three down there sitting on wooden. Oh, sorry, that was Virtue. Three down on wooden there, not too shabby at all. Hydra, slower back A push now. Jake in ahead of him. We see a push into bottom A now. Perps tries to get up on the uh, on the dumpster wall, but doesn't manage to do that as Hydra picks him up. Flay with a scope shot onto Hyper there, managing to take down his very skilled opponent, even with the lag. So he's doing very, very well here. Virtue's carrying his team ridiculously, actually. If you look at the scoreboard, he's having a huge game now. Fire strike, gate corner, watching mid-A, oh, great pick onto Stabby there, three shots, and that's all it took to take him down now. Faye's going to top of glitch building, Virtue's picked up Dublin, easy round, quick round, if you may say, in favour of Savio. 9-8 on the Razor Zone scoreboard, Virtue continuing to assert his dominance tonight. Uh, yes, Savio actually, um, same, yeah, sorry, Virtue, yeah, he's lifting, he's actually lifting in this game, just not in IRL, unfortunately, anyway, he's 23 for 10, he's absolutely dominating, and, uh, not sure where he's playing. I think he's playing inside A. Virtue picks up one frag, and uh, he's also his team takes down Perps, who actually did take uh, the first kill of the round on the flay. So uh, Virtue and Hydra doing it for the team at A, and holding it quite well. Hydra has actually lifted this half. He's uh, wasn't playing too good at the start of the, the start of the game, but nonetheless he has lifted. Uh, Virtue. He uh, is holding A quite easily. Um, Thermo aren't really putting too, too much pressure. But when they do, uh, Virtue seems to be in the best position possible. And uh, it's all working out his way. Dublin putting a couple of shots into Wood. And he knows there's one there. Won't be able to get the frags. He's going to have to push into a different spot. Um, Fire Strike just sitting at B. He's just waiting there. So there's nothing going to happen to B. It looks as if the um, Thermo crew are favouring the A side in this round. They've got one in bottom blue. They've got two outside A uh, on the pallet. One tags, uh, I think it was Hydra. And Hydra also tagging Dublin. Attack Kid goes up mid, oh, mid A. Oh, Virtue goes down. Hydra takes down Attack Kid. So uh, Dublin picking up one, Hydra picking up one, and it's, uh, it's pretty much even Steven. Three to three versus two in favour of Savio on the defensive side. Hydra picks up the Hyper, pushing bottom A. Hydra, he's uh, played well this, this round. He's picked up two. He's going to get the third in a second. Uh, Dublin pushing into mid A. Oh, get a couple Ooh. of tags. Oh, Dublin, Dublin. Oh, Dublin. Two frags. There we go. Hydra and Fire Strike comes out of wooden like a mad, mad snake right there. And... And uh, Jake is pushing to bottom A. It looks as if Dublin maybe going to go for the... Yep, full plan. He's going to get smashed in the back. And unfortunately for the man, he played that really well. Dublin, very unfortunate. So uh, Jake clutching the round there. 1v1 situation. And it's now 9-9 nine nine, all tied up. And Savio brought it back quite nicely. Yes, indeed. Attack your dragon. The train for Thermo here. <coughs> he's, uh, he's trying to work... Who is it? I think he's trying to work into A. But uh, he's having a bit of difficulty sitting in top blue now. He's just going to work those angles. He's just going to get the pick on top lights as well. Probably not watching all the spots that he could be watching. And, uh, you know, really, he seems to be trying to hit fire everything on his way. So, anyway, he's got into mid-A now. But uh, Fire Strike with two. Virtue with one. And Stabby's picked up Flay as well. So, it is a 4v2 situation. Now, Thermo attack it. He is in mid-A. Virtue watching bottom A. 
And we do see Dublin gets ripped out by Fire Strike from behind. I don't, I don't know if we really knew what was going on there. And we do see attacking the last man standing. See someone push Gate Corner. Some tags coming out. Very sharp play from whoever that Gate Corner guy was. That was Fire Strike. And the score set 9 10 in favor yeah, of Savio. Fast lagging as well, though. Yeah, fair bit of lag going. That's a lot of lag, actually. But nonetheless, Savio in the lead now for the first time all game. No, not quite. First time all half here. It is one round in on the Razor Zone scoreboard tonight. Yeah, they've, um, I think the lead, um, they've four rounds in a row. Yes, it is four rounds in a row. There was a nine to six down. Now up ten to nine. Uh, Jake's pushing the mid. Um, he's got one in pallet. Now, he knows he's there because he pre-fired the pillars just in case and uh, no one was there. So he knows that there's quite a few people around the top of the oh, area. And there we go. Stabby and Purps picking up some SMG frags on the uh, Fire Strike and Virtue. Also, Hyper picking up SMG frag on the Jake. Actually, I think Hyper dropped the scope. So there we go. Hydra picking up one frag onto Dublin. Flay picking up the Purps there with the Deagle. And Attack Kid taking down Hydra. 1v3 situation now. Hyper, Stabby, Attack Kid all up against the <laughs> Lager and gets dominated. The... Uh, I'm not sure actually how he hit that. He lagged across quite up, but nonetheless, it took him down. So Savio uh, couldn't hold that round then, Uber. So um, 10 to 10, all tied up again. Yes, indeed. Some bit of space bar action from Stabby there, doing his work in mid aim Managed to hold it down nicely. For the Thermo crew now, I'm not sure what, what they're going to try and bring out here on attack that's going to really change the face of the game, but there's plenty of lag going on in all directions here. Fire Strike, Flay, and Hyper having a tough time. Percy picked up Flay there with a the scope. He's picked the scope up, so plenty of weapons swapping around here for the Thermo crew. But let's see, will it pay off? There is one top lights, and Perps misses a crucial shot now. Dree Poke is quite dangerous here. He has done so. He's picked up Fire Strike yet again. Very cheeky and stabby. He's picked up Hydra again, so the A is held down. Stabby, the Italian Stallion, starting to lift some great SMG work now in the mid ape. See Virtue now. He's picked up Perps. Uh, I think that was a gay corner. I'm not quite sure. We'll go to Virtue now. He's sitting in the blue alley. So Perps clearly uh, was sitting in top blue. Virtue's pushed up now. Dublin goes down. No, take down Jake there. Virtue trying to get some deagle work on the top A. Usually it's the other way around. And does tag up. Attack it very heavily, but Hyper comes through me with the SMG and takes him down. 11-10. This looks like the, co the combination of this game, Johnny, might be a very exciting and close one. Yeah, I didn't really expect that from them. They've adjusted really nicely. I think Perps um, picked up the scope. Hyper picked up the SMG, and they're just working very nicely uh, ooh, Fire Strike, uh, that's a very awkward nade, hits the um, Archer's Fridge, it wasn't meant to hit there, but regardless, got the frag on a Hyper, and uh, the SM one SMG is down for the Thermodynamic side, and uh, Savio just structured up uh, quite nicely around A, and it looks as if they're going to be a really late push from Thermo, pushing the bottom A now, I think it is, who's that, Stabby, he's at the bomb, now this is a very dangerous position for uh, Stabby to be with the bomb, especially when his teammates are nowhere near him, he's got one on the chopper and two around blue, so it's going to be very hard for them to take the, the bomb back if he does drop it there, so Stabby, I'm going to keep my eye on him in a second, I'm going to watch Perps, he's uh, playing quite well with the, uh, the scope, in the last couple of rounds, and he's, he's just in top blue, waiting for someone to poke from Lance or uh, from Sam. He doesn't see anyone still, and this round's going quite slow, and my prediction is that Stabby's going to die eventually in bottom A, and Hydra's just taking out Attack Kid, there we go, Stabby's tagged up quite hard, he's pushing to mid A, looks as if the Thermo crew is pushing in, Hydra takes down Stabby, the bomb is in mid A, well, like I predicted, and it's going to be very hard for uh, Thermo to take it, as Virtue takes down Dublin, pushing into bottom A, Perps takes down Virtue, and there we go, Hydra finishes off the round, Hydra, some solid uh, work from him, and uh, it's 11-11, and Thermo really couldn't grip that round as uh, as well as what they wanted to. And they really, really had to pay for that one when they dropped the bomb in mid-air. They all tried to rush up and just couldn't get the job done. Hmm, 11-11. Thermo might want to make a wish on this one because they are starting to get behind the eight ball now. But Stabby and Dublin with a quick double to keep themselves in the running for this one. We are hearing a bomb plant care of young Stabby. He's going to get it down as well. Very, very quick push into A and has really caught Stabby off guard. The Hydra is going to be straight on the bomb though. Is there going to be anyone to stop him? It is attacking. Hydra's picked him up now. Looks like he could have an easy defuse at this rate. He's going to take it slow. Is he giving Dublin too much time to push in? I'm not quite sure there, Jake. Oh, will be a defuse. He's got to get it. He's got enough time. Dublin taking his sweet-ass time on the stairs. <laughs> and Hydra getting a cheeky defuse there. He, I think that's the problem with the fast plant. You see, if you're going to push one guy in there, that's fine. But he had no support. And he was surrounded by Savio players once he went down. And it, any one of them could have defused the bomb. 12-11 in favor of Savio here in the race zone score. But it looks like they may start to close this one out tonight. Yeah, Thermo really making some bad and really crucial mistakes, and uh, it's really not going their way at the moment. As Perps picks up Fire Strike and Flay picks up Perps, so it's uh, 
one for one, make that two for one, make that two for two. Virtue picks up, who was that there? He takes down Hyper and uh, Attack Kid also replies on a Virtue. 3 3 situation, that round was just all about, um, the round so far, sorry, is all about the I revenge for Stags as, uh, ooh, Jake has a lovely uh, headshot onto Dublin, and Hydra, oh, Hydra double kill onto Stabby and Attack. Now, Thermo are just pushing very... Uh, they're not really using their head, they're just pushing straight in the bottom A, and I just, just sitting there with an SMG waiting at the end of it, and just bang. End of the chain. Uh, that's pretty much all it's going to see is death. And uh, now this round started, and bang, Flay's already been smashed by, uh, sorry, Flay's already smashed Hyper. Yes, indeed, yeah. I just don't think uh, Thermo really, they're not taking out the support players back A for Savio. Leaving Hydra free to just do, you know, sneak around bottom A and come up behind him and rip him. So they really need to think about the way they're doing this. They've gone B, of course, as you'd expect when a few A's aren't working. Perhaps putting himself out there. Very exposed position now, standing on the top of the wall gate corner. He's going to head to top lights and join his man attack it. Giving. Oh, they've given uh, they've given the Savio guys so much time to rotate. They're just going to chill now. They've just pushed him. Should be uh, relatively easy pickups for them now. Flays with a dig on the Stabby. Hydra's picked up attack in now. Perhaps in Dublin, last two standing. Dublin's on a Hydra there. The shining ray of hope, possibly for the Thermo crew now, but he's been very heavy tagged up in mid virtue. He's going to retreat now to the alcove and going to make the push in just a moment. 2v2 situation still. Flay looking top A. Uh, top, sorry, top lights. Seeing some moving there. That was Perps who just jumped down. Copped a bit of tagging. The bomb is down uh, quite close to the B bomb now. We're going to see a bit of a stack up here from the Thermo crew. Surely we can't see Flay. He's about to head to top of spawn building and he's got the scope. So really. A rotate in the other direction would have been smart by the Thermo crew now, but let's go Perps gonna do- Oh, great shot there! Ooh. He's picked up Flay, and the spawn building defense is down. Perps now gonna push onto Red Car. Perps onto Red Car! He's ripped Jake, and look at this, this is all Perps. This is all Perps. Now, last push down, Bialy will be Virtue. Your Stabby's completely missed it. Uh, sorry, it was Dublin, sorry, and uh, that's gonna cost him big time now. Virtue burst through onto the B-bomb. Cops attack from Perps now. Virtue will not poke, Ooh. and Perps will clean him up. Perps, fantastic play, can't- yeah, I can't say much else about him. He's playing a really good game so far, and that was some very, very clever play to clear up three players over the B-side tonight. Yeah, Virtue... Uh, I'm not sure why he didn't contest him. He had an SMG. He was in range, just uh, wants to defuse anyway. Nonetheless, the Purpose has opened up this round as well, taking down Virtue, so... Uh, it's, uh, Purpose is pretty much... He's coming out really strong with the scope, and it's really doing a lot for his team. Uh, Fire Strike takes down Perps, Jake takes down Attack Kid. The bomb is going down inside the A by Stabby. Fire Strike and Hydra cleaning up like nothing else. Dublin and Stabby and also Hyper go down straight away. Hyper, uh, was it Hydra? Hydra did take down the double. So uh, SMG kills just everywhere uh, with a bit of Fire Strike uh, in mid, taking down the support players, watching the bomb there. But that round was very, very quick from Savio to uh, recover from that. And uh, it's now 12 to 14. It looks as if this uh, this game could be over within a couple of minutes, Uber. Yeah, I'm thinking Thermo didn't really get the memo that the fast A is just not working. Anyway, double and eight back eight. Uh, he's taking down the Flay there. So scope neutralized now. Hyper proning. Oh dear. Hyper, hyper proning there in bottom A. He always picked up another player back A as well. It was quite uncanny his ability to note there was a player there back behind the crow's nest. But Hyper will get a plant down. Drake, the last man standing, is uh, almost round for round stuff here. Thermo doing very, very well. They're missing it up a bit. That was another fast day, you know, they kind of, they tried it again and it did work, but really, I just don't think, if you can't neutralize the back A defense of of Savio, you're going to struggle. Nonetheless, 13-14, Savio in front by only one. Players enjoying the game all around. We'll see the conclusion very, very soon tonight. Yeah, um, Perps is absolutely dominating the last couple of rounds. He's getting the very early picks and even the late round picks and... As a result of that, he's uh, dropped a 27 bomb so far. Virtue adding to his tally, uh, 31 frags now. He did get an aid kill and a stabby, but Dublin also takes down Virtue. So Virtue's out of this round, so the man of the uh, savior is not going to be in this round. And it is getting heated as Perps takes down Flay. Did couple, uh, uh, Hyper did catch a couple of bullets as uh, he was getting defended by Perps. That attack kid also getting a couple of uh, bullets his way. Just waiting, 3v4 situation. Looks as if Thermo are just waiting for the picks at blue. And no one's poking from lights, no one's poking from A. They're just waiting and waiting and waiting. Looks as if um, they're eventually going to push A though. The bomb is bottom blue. He's got an, they've got one aircon, one front blue, and one top blue. So um, here we go. Perps are going to push the top. BL are going to watch him. He's looking down. BL, he's seen him. He's not focusing. Here we go. Takes down Fire Strike and Dublin takes down Jake. The B bomb site. <coughs> it's pretty much open. Hydra's the last one alive, and he's going to push to back A. Someone needs to watch that so they can get him on the cross. No, he's going to go through pillars this time. 
He's going to jump over the bin, back A, he's pushed onto the pallet, and now Hydra's pushing through with an SMG. He picks up an AK, sees one at uh, BLE, and gets smashed by Perps. Perps has uh, dropped the 30. He picked up three kills that round, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he did. Uh, two headshots as well. So there you go. Perps dominating, 14-14 to 14 now. Fermo on the comeback yet again. Very impressive there, and Perps and Virtue really uh, taking their respective teams to, to greater heights in this map. They have made it even. Stevens on attack have Thermo, and Perps with a great shot onto Virtue. He's picked up the scope, and he's ripping everyone. Doesn't matter what weapon he's got in his hand, he's performing very, very nicely. Now Hydra now mid A. Some shots onto the bomb partner. Not good enough. Stabby, master of the space bar tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Hydra, just not enough to take him out as Dublin also takes down Jake. I feel a dispute coming, actually. I don't think Savio is going to be too happy with this result, as Hyper is just ripped fire strike bottom A. Last man standing, Flay Heavy tagged, and he will just get killed from falling damage. It is either a draw or a win for Thermo. They'll be very, very pleased, and a great round from them. Denied. Take it away. Yeah, last round. Let's see if we can uh, get Thermo over the line. It'd be a massive upset, quite honestly. Uh, Savior have not done much. Um, uh, well, sorry, they have not done much but succeed over this team. Hydra has left the game. He got smashed by Perps on the cross. Dublin takes down Flay. It is all happening. Flay gets a lovely kill onto Dublin. And wow. Jake TKC is bottom bandit in and uh, getting dominated. And there we go. The bomb is going down. Stabby is... Uh, Got the bomb down. Jake has picked down Uber. Uh, not, what am I talking about? Hi, oh. my bad. <laughs> not over yet. Yes, um, and here we go. 15-14. Attack kid takes down uh, Fire Strike. Now a 1v3 situation. People have left the server. It's all over. Jake cannot do anything. He's dropped a back eight. Perps has smashed him. 33 bomb from Perps and 31 from uh, Virtue. So good game to them and Thermo wins. So That's good intense. game, Uber. What an intense game I was tonight there. I mean, you know, even Stevens for quite a lot of the game, you know, I really didn't know which way it would go. You know, when it was 13-14 in favour of, um, no, even 11-11, um, you know, with Savio looking like they were going to take the game out, I really thought they had it. But, uh, you know, in the end, that wasn't to be, John. Uh, what's your analysis? You know, where did Thermo get it right tonight? Thermo got it right when they drop, uh, when Hyper dropped Scope. He knew that he was failing the first two rounds. Dropped it for Perps, and Perps absolutely ripped. When Hyper, uh, when Hyper actually did push into A and got a couple of frags, it was very easy for them to get the bomb down, and that's what they were doing um, very well. I think also when they they isolated the B Alley guy, when the B Alley guy was not able to push up to you know gay corner and arches and get the frags inside mid like chopper and whatnot. It was very easy for them to get the bomb down today, and very easy for them to push in. So I think they isolated the BLE guy quite nicely, and uh, in a result of that, they got a couple. They strung, I think it was 12-14 down, and they they pretty much they pretty much dominated mid and uh, A. And Virtue really couldn't do anything late game as uh, he had the SMG. So they'd rotate through quite nicely and get the bomb down quite early. Yeah, you're dead right there. I think uh, you know it's really interesting. Virtue coming up really strong. Both halves played a really good performance, but you know Hyper, you know giving the scope to Perps and what I didn't expect. Perps, you know, very sharp with that digger work off Wooden on the defense side, but he picked up the scope and just started ripping everyone. I think uh, you know, and for a team like Thermodynamic, who really haven't played in many high level tournaments, there's going to be a bit of confusion about the result tonight and possibly a dispute. But I can say honestly, I've had a reasonably um, you know good experience with the Thermo guys, and they put in the hours, and I really think tonight they came through at the end of it. Wasn't looking good at all. They were down at half time. I think, actually, no, they were up, but not by much at halftime, you know, like it was 9-6 or something. But they came back and, uh, you know, great work down Bialy. Uh, perhaps give them the scope, ladies and gentlemen. And Stabby also lifting that space bar action on the A-bomb, really giving Hydra trouble. So, John, uh, interesting result, mate, but uh, definitely a good game to watch. Um, yeah, it was uh, very, very good. I'm just, uh, also, shout out to Firestrike for calling hacks. Um, I really don't think much to worry about. I think Perps um, played really well. Um, but he played well from the start. I don't think um, he he didn't even reconnect, so I don't think yeah, there's not much to worry about. But uh, shout out, to that. also shout out to um, uh, pretty much the community. Also um, TT Esports, they've they've done well to um, bring out this charity cup and give the amateurs something to play for, and also improve their skill. Because you know, once they pay for something, they're obviously going to get more and more keener on the game, and you know, works out all the best for everyone. So I uh, shout out to them will take, and also to um, Skanks etc for running. So that's pretty much all I've got to say. Yes, indeed. Well, look, you know, you saw it here first, ladies and gentlemen, the final score, 16-14 in favour of Thermodynamic there. 
No complaints here. Great game from both sides. Virtual and perps lifting big time. I don't care what they say about lifters, non-lifters. Those two are the rule lifters tonight. Played some fantastic Call of Duty. We will see at the Thermo Crew Advance. I'm not sure if uh, you know if the future guys will have another crack at this. I think there is a loser's bracket, so double elimination. We will see more of them. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, in the meantime, keep those frags coming. Keep checking out the thread, the result thread for the TT Esports thread. Keep looking out for our shoutcast as well. We're doing a few CTO stuff at the moment. It's a good bit of fun. Join us there. You know, any game's a good game, really, but uh, that's all for us, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Uber, and Denied has joined me on the other end of the mic. It's been an absolute pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, good night.